How are you feeling? Great. I have to say that that was, uh, that was a great procedure. Um, we started out with a pretty wide open sphincter. As you can see here on your pictures, this sphincter was pretty wide open and it just stayed open by itself. I didn't even have to really put any air in to try and open it. Yeah. And now after we did the procedure, you can see it's just completely closed itself off now. So we're, we're probably going to have some really good early effect. I was able to sense a lot of muscle based upon the readings we had on the needles. And of course what we're doing here is, is making your muscle grow. And it's the same thing here with this area. You had a small hiatal hernia and it's a little gapping. And, and now if you could see on the, uh, the video images, it's just completely closed. Now there's a big cuff of swelling around that. So that should stop anything now from coming up from the stomach. And that'll be especially important um, for your throat symptoms, for the LPR symptoms. So the small hiatal hernia, is that that's further up? That's actually right here underneath the diaphragm, okay. looking up from the stomach. Okay. Are you having any, any discomfort? I mean, how do you feel after having had the procedure? Uh, a little bit of a dry mouth, but, but I know that's from the, the medication. Yeah, that's from the medication yeah. we gave you. But otherwise, I feel fine. So no chest pain, no, no chest burning, no discomfort? No. How about your throat? Does it hurt at all? Very slight discomfort. Okay. Uh, down in the mouth, but it's more muscular, I think. Excellent. So. Excellent. Well, the procedure went very well. Um, you know, the dietary instructions that we have for after the procedure are going to be for you to avoid foods that people tend not to chew very well. So that's like popcorn, chips, nuts, pretzels. But other than that, you pretty much have a carte blanche to eat what you want. Oh, Most people will try and stay with some soft foods, but that's not a requirement. Okay. Otherwise, it went very well, and uh, we'll want to talk again in two weeks, and in two weeks, we'll have an idea of how much better you feel, and that gives me kind of a guide forward. Mm -hmm. Really, at about eight weeks is where things become quite crucial because the swelling will have gone down, and then we'll get a chance to see how much muscle has grown okay. and reinforce the area. So at eight weeks, we can start to talk about do we continue to need medication and how can we taper that off based upon your symptoms and okay. how you feel. So I think another important point about your case is, is the fact that you came in with Barrett's esophagus. Mm -hmm. um, and so, you know, the question is, where does Barrett's esophagus come from? And it comes from reflux. So as the tissue is eroded, it's replaced by other type of tissue, this other type of specialized tissue. And that's felt to be the precancerous mm -hmm. tissue that develops. The great thing about the Strata procedure is that by reducing your reflux, you know, I was able to publish this actually with the 10 year data is we know that about 85% of the time the Barrett's will spontaneously regress. Excellent. And so you will not need the follow ups. You will not need to have to, you know, continue to look at um, this endoscopically. Uh -huh. And we're going to see over time, usually it's going to happen within the first few years. I would not be surprised if a couple of years from now we see this tissue has just gone ahead and disappeared. And then the reason for that is that your lining of your gut uh -huh. sloughs away and it's replaced by new lining every three to five years. Okay. So if we get rid of the inflammation at the base where the tissue comes up from the bottom, yeah. if the strata procedure works and you're not refluxing anymore, there's no more inflammation in what we call the basal lamina where these stem cells are. Uh -huh. And so if their stem cells are not inflamed any longer, they grow normal tissue as opposed to Barrett's tissue. Mm. And then that's why that goes away after a strata procedure. So we have a lot of fun things to look forward to. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much, doctor. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right, and we'll see how things go over the next few months. Yeah.